Hello and welcome to Three Questions with my buddy Carlos Vargas with us. Good afternoon, Carlos. Welcome to the show. Hey, Kevin. Nice to see you again. Thank you for the invitation to come. Of course. So I have a question for you. We hear the expression independent insurance agent right. and we all go, but I don't think everyone knows what it means. So what does that mean? How is it different than someone that's not an independent agent? Yeah, so it is, so there's independent agents and there's direct writers. So like if I used to work for Prudential, so you only had one product line to sell. If I worked for Liberty or Allstate or Geico, I only have that product line to sell. So the clients that came in to buy insurance, we try to fit them into whatever product that we had. You know, they were looking for homeowners insurance, which is okay because most of those companies are competitive. All companies today are pretty competitive. The problem comes about when you have too many claims and the company says, Kevin, we love you, but boy, you're costing us money, right? So as so as a, as a independent agent, I've got other markets. So like when you call Vargas Insurance, we've got like 12 plus insurance companies that we can write through. So if company A is saying, hey, Kevin, we don't want you anymore, we can shop you around to the other 11, 12, 13 different companies. So we have a market for you. Um, so when you call an independent agent and they're, a boatload of independent agents that do a wonderful job. Um, when you call an independent agent and you say, "Hey, I'm buying a home, or I need a uh, you know auto premium, uh, an auto rate," we'll give you we we usually give you three rates. We tell you the bells and whistles. If we give you thirteen, it's like ah, no, please don't. <laughs> right, right, please don't. Please pick one or two so I can so I so really the big difference is I work for myself and. And 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 a non-independent agent works for the company, and they only can represent or sell the company's products. So, Carlos, maybe it's much as my imagination, but it just feels like premiums are always going up. Is yeah. that true? What, what are you seeing? So, premiums are going up for a couple of factors. Um, premiums are going up because of the all the earthquake, you know, in Turkey and Syria, all. All insurance companies buy what they call reinsurance. So if, if your home's insured with travelers, travelers is only covering your home for a certain percentage of that. The rest of it, they go to the reinsurance market to buy insurance on their book of business. So the floods in Germany, the earthquakes in Turkey, uh, the stuff down in Florida, the, you know, all of those fires out west, they all have an impact not on our insurance market here, but have an impact on the reinsurer. So when travelers, Arbella, Vermont Mutual, goes to the reinsurers to buy insurance on their books, they're paying 50% more. So as a result, your insurance rate is going to go up. The other factor is the cost of material. So on your home, like when we built a home in 1983, it cost us like $90,000 to build it. Right. Today, you build a garage for ninety thousand dollars. Right. <laughs> so so the cost of labor, the cost of materials, the cost right. of all of that has an impact. So as that goes up. All those prices go up on top of the re reinsurance. I mean, we just had somebody come in to refer to the agency a couple of days ago. Their insurance rate went up one hundred and fourteen percent with the previous insurance company. Right. Wow. So a lot of factors happen there. They have a dog breed, the company. You know, so there's a but. That's a huge increase. So they were referred to us by their attorney, and it, you know, we were able to save them some money and package all of the all the things together for them. So recently, I saw you had a blog post about the hot insurance market. Yeah, what does that mean? It means that it's becoming hard to get discounts for personal lines and commercial lines insurance. So if you were opening up a business or if you're opening up a store, or you're opening up some sort of a service. Um, at one time, this, all the markets were soft, meaning that they would want to write that business. They would discount themselves to the bottom trying to get the business. Today, it's like the discounts have almost gone away, um, mm -hmm. and it's becoming more difficult. So if you're opening up a business and you've not been in that line of business before, we need to do a lot of shopping around for you because the rates are going to be very expensive and the market isn't going to be there. So I don't have 12 different companies. I only have three. And those three, the rates aren't that great. And I think that that's what all insurance brokers are finding. 
meaning that it's hard to get discounts it's, it's, and the pricing is going up. So hard market means um, the pricing has gone up and it's really hard to go for those discounts that we typically would ask for. I mean, I'm a believer that if I don't ask, the answer is no. I always ask, right? Hey, Kevin and his family, they wonderful families, the auto, the home, we're trying to give them all the discounts. And the company would say, today they would say, no, nah, we're not giving it away. Back a couple of years ago, they said, oh yeah, we'd love to write his business. Yeah, we see we see all of this, all of his driving records and claims history. We'll give them all the bells and whistles. Today they're like, no, the rate is what the rate is, so. Yikes. So I imagine as an insurance agent, Carlos, probably almost everyone you call starts with, Carlos, how do I save money? You know, <laughs> maybe I have flood insurance, home, condo. Yeah. Carlos, I just want to save money. How do I do that? Yeah. Any tips so, for me? Yeah. So, there, so, there's, so, so there's a couple of ways. One is um, maybe touch on flood a little bit. There, there was a time that the only the only market for flood insurance was FEMA, was the federal government. Today, there's private flood market. So if you're in a flood zone, have your broker shop around. Um, there's private flood markets that the mortgage companies are accepting because they're rated very well. Um, we have one flood market that if you're in a particular type of flood zone where you might be paying a couple thousand dollars a year through FEMA, we can probably discount that by 50, 60% if you qualify. So, so they put in all that into their magic box, their, um, their secret sauce box. And they come up and they say, hey, Kevin lives in a wonderful flood zone. Hey, Kevin's never had a flood claim. The neighbors have, ha haven't had any flood claims, but they're in a flood zone. So we'll take the risk on and we'll give them a 50, 60% discount. Um, right. The other way to save money is by bundling your auto and home insurance. Now, bundling and an awful lot of people think that bundling is, hey, Arbella does my auto and home. That used to be the old way of bundling. The new way of bundling is Arbella wants my auto, but they don't want my home. But if they know that the home is written with Vargas Insurance, we'll, we'll give them the bundling discount, even though it's written with travelers. So wow. there's bundling that the company A writes both, the auto and home. And then there's bundling where the company says, hey, we don't want the driver's history, but we'll give them a discount if Vargas Insurance writes both the home and the auto. So oh, there's, not... yeah, in the other, and the last way to save money is look at your deductible. I can't tell you how many policies we review for other from other insurance brokers that the deductible is $250, it's $500. I mean, when we lived in a single family home, I had a $2,500 deductible saving three or $400 a year for 30 years, I had more than enough money to pay for my $2,500 deductible. So if you're not deductible, if you're not claim prone, maybe look at the deductible going from a 250 to a 500, you might save two or $300 a year on your home insurance. Look at the deductible on your autos and also look at what type of coverage you have in your autos. You know, if you have AAA and you have towing on your auto, why do you have both, right? have one or the other, but don't have both because you're wasting money. So Clearly. So, Carlos, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? How can they learn more? Uh, they can reach out. They can go to VargasInsurance.com, click on Compare Quotes tab. Our team, there's 16 of us at the agency, 17 of us at the agency. Um, and Or reach out to Quotes at VargasInsurance.com. And we have a, you can email, you can text our team. Um, yeah, so that's really just vargasinsurance.com and awesome. uh, every, everything is from there. Carlos, I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to come on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. I appreciate your friendship as well, my friend. Take care, Kevin. Bye-bye.